Hi y'all. Um, it's Thursday. <laughs> um, and basically today, I just wanted to do a quick video on like doing taxes as an international student because I'm actually going to a tax workshop in a couple of hours. I have class right after this at one and then I'm gonna go to that workshop at three. And I was just getting my tax forms earlier. And I have a lot because I have two jobs. I live in my own apartment. I have two bank accounts. Um, and I also go to school. And I think like there's a separate tax form for like everything, health insurance, school, um, work, um, your bank and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take all these to the workshop, um, see what they say and ask some questions. Cause I tried doing my taxes last year on my own. I used TurboTax and I just put everything online. Um, it was a free service. Um, very like it was quite easy i guess to navigate but i didn't really understand how it all works essentially like i don't know if i'm making sense here but basically taxes are very confusing so i decided to just like go and meet someone who i can ask questions to and share with you all what i learned um but yeah like last year when i used turbo tax i got like a two cent not two cent two dollar like tax return also I got these new like wireless earphones um they're okay like um they sound decent but they're too big on my ears so they keep on falling out especially like the left one like the right one's fine i don't know why the left one is just like it doesn't want to stay anyways every time i laugh it falls out ah, and i laugh all the time so we're gonna take these and go to that workshop and i'll tell you all what i learned Right from the get-go, it's really important to note that you're not required to file your taxes as a non-resident alien if you make less than $2,000 taxable income, which is your gross um, income. However, if you see that in your W-2 there is tax withheld, you could also consider just filing your taxes in order to get that amount back. In Wisconsin specifically, or just like state taxes in general, what is included are wages written in your w-2 so if you have multiple jobs they all count and then wisconsin lottery winnings and stocks i believe although stocks um some of them could be state and some of them could be federal and it's better if you just consult in a lawyer that knows better about that or if you just look it up online there might be more information Aside from that, since this tax workshop was specifically for Wisconsinites or people who are currently living in the state of Wisconsin, um, non-resident aliens may be able to claim a subtraction for up to $6,974 um, in their taxes if they pay full tuition, I believe, or if they pay an amount that is six thousand nine hundred seventy four dollars or more so technically if you're paying international student fees that should cover that so if you had to potentially pay taxes for an amount that's more than six thousand nine hundred seventy four you could be exempted for that it's important to note however if the amount you paid for tuition is less than your scholarships and grants you are not eligible for this abstraction Overall, filing is super easy now because it's all online and you can go to revenue.wi.gov slash pages slash wi dash e file slash home dot a p x. Also, um, just like include the link down below. But basically, it's super easy. File everything online. Just make sure you have all your papers in front of you while filing it out. I got my return of about $100 plus I think an extra $20. So I got $20 from state and $100 from federal, which was really, really nice. So consider filing your taxes even if you make less than $2,000 because chances are, first of all, you don't actually have to pay taxes. You just get your tax returns as an international student if you work part-time. I also used TurboTax specifically for my federal taxes. So I filed it twice, one with the government, the state of Wisconsin, and one with TurboTax for federal. So yeah, I hope this was helpful and I'll see you all next time.